Hello everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. I'm so glad you've joined me today. This is, as promised, the cameo collection that I bought at an antiques auction. So I bought these all together as one lot. Some are better than others, but I think each is very, very beautiful in its own way. Please let me know what your favorite pieces are. Like this video and please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. All right, let's get started. First of all, the ring though, I know, not like fabulously detailed carving, but I really enjoy this ring and it fits me too. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to wear it. I'll show you how it looks. I actually really love that. Do you? I really do. It's nice and big too. I think it's interesting. So I'm going to definitely keep this one, at least for now. I don't really see a lot of cameo rings. I mean, I've never seen one of this size. Oops, that's for sure. Very cool. Now, not all of these are women, which is what I really liked about this lot. Hmm, that's pretty. Look at how the the gold is discoloring. Let me see if this might be real, real gold or not. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test this one. Um, gold can tarnish like this a little bit. I have seen it before. I have pieces of gold. I have two pieces I'm thinking of right now that are in fact tarnished. So I'm not sure. It may only be gold filled. It may just be nothing. I don't know, but I'm going to definitely test this one but I think she's really pretty. Look at her flower in her hair. I like it. This one I really like a lot too. Wow, that is cool. This is a shell, of course. I suppose this one, the background is abalone, right? And then this one is probably mother of pearl. I really love that. Oh, look, they even gave her an eyeball kind of thing. See? I think she's really pretty. What I really love about cameos, you know, the ones that are hand carved and everything is there's never going to be two alike. I mean, I guess they'll be similar, but not exactly alike. So this looks like, um, yeah, I was going to say maybe it was supposed to have a frame on it, but mm, no, I guess not. I guess that's it. Just a a frameless thing here. Really pretty. Let me see if I can find one that's not a woman. I really love this. And then, oh, look at that. That's very nicely translucent. It was an earring, apparently. But somebody did a smart thing by looping it like that, because now it can be worn as a pendant. That's kind of interesting, though. I really like that. I'm like a woman sitting at her house, I guess, <laughs> in the yard. Really pretty one. There are a couple of religious ones here, and I have never seen these before, and I love them. I mean, I really love them. This one is very nicely done. Beard, mustache. Let's see if it's marked at all. Um, hmm. I don't see anything. Uh, this was not a cheap lot either, by the way. Usually I just say what I pay because, um, you know, because I sell on eBay and I know other people are interested in starting a business. So I usually talk about it, but I did actually pay a lot for these. So I don't, I'd rather not say, you know, tacky and all of that. I think in this instance, I don't know if I'm going to get my money back or not. I think so. Now look at her hair. This one looks more modern, right? It is 800. So it's still silver, just a little bit less silver than 925, obviously. I like that one. She's pretty. I like her lips. Here is a more modern one, too. You can really tell by the metal around the edges and by the back. Yes, yeah, certainly. Oh, it's marked. Let me see. I suppose that's going to say gold filled, isn't it? I don't know. 
This one says Amco 14K, and then there's two other letters. I don't think this is 14K. Um, hmm. Well, that's interesting. I certainly hope it is. That's a lot of gold, but I don't know. That one maybe didn't slip past the goalie, I'm thinking. Unless that's why the lot went so high. I don't know. I'm going to put this in my red baggie, though. I'll be checking this at a later time, so look out for that. Because when I do uh, testing videos, uh, they're kind of interesting. I think I'll be testing silver and gold. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this one gives me the feels a little bit. It's not like the best carving, but I think there's something so charming about this one. Beautifully translucent. That's a nice thin shell. Some marcasites. Oh, I love that one. This one looks like it's from the 20s to me. Doesn't that look like a 20s thing? Uh, there's always a missing one. <laughs> I, I almost said no missing marcasites, but there it is. I can replace that. And this one looks like it might be silver. Oh, there you go. Sterling. It says it right there. She's very pretty. I like that one. I like the shape of it. It sort of has a deco vibe to me. I don't know if I've ever seen kind of a baby pink cameo before. I'm guessing this is shell too. Um, I doubt if that's gold, right? Let me just look. Hold on. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my loop and I'm looking at these edges because if it's gold filled, uh, you'll see where at the edges, but I kind of don't. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll put that in my bag too. And we'll have to test this. It kind of looks too shiny to be gold, doesn't it? That's what I'm thinking. It's really pretty though. Let me see if I can find another non woman. Oh, this one. Yeah. Here's another scenic one. I really like the color of this one too. Oops, sorry. My hand's moving around. It's like, um, yeah, like it has a purple thing, right? How interesting. Is that a volcano, do you think, in the back? I wonder what this is a scene of. Not sure, but it sure is nice. Is that marked? Probably not, right? Um, I doubt it. I will, uh, I'll check though. Hold on. This one is marked 925, so that's a great thing. I really like this one. It's different. I've never seen one like this, and I think the colors are just awesome. Now, here's one that's facing left. So the ladies who face left are rarer than the ones who are facing right. She's got a little chip right there, unfortunately. Still pretty, though. This one kind of has a 1920s look too. Oh no, that's bent. I'll try to fix that, but sometimes with this old metal uh, sterling, okay, uh, it's brittle and that can just break off in a in a hot second. So I will be careful. Oh, how pretty those are ribbons, bows. How nice. I love the flower on her shoulder. That one's really beautiful. So I don't know if technically you could even call this a cameo. I don't think so, right? Should we look up the definition of cameo on Wikipedia? Cameo is a method of carving an object such as an engraved gem, item of jewelry, or vessel. It nearly always features a raised positive relief image, contrast with intaglio, which has a negative image. Originally, and still in discussing historical work, cameo only referred to works where the relief image was of a contrasting color to the background. This was achieved by carefully carving a piece of material with a flat plane where two contrasting colors met, removing all the first color except for the image to leave a contrasting background. So, all right, so technically that is not a cameo. But we would be okay to call this a cameo because I would say that's just pretty acceptable. You know, it, it is a cameo, even though that these are sort of two separate pieces. And let me see if this is plastic or stone. That is stone for sure. I don't know if this background is onyx. Well, listen, it's it's lovely in any event. 
I really like this one. Probably gold filled. Here's a little one. And this one's a cute little pendant. I like you. I like you. She's nice and raised up. I like this setting too. Sawtooth setting. Oh, look at that background. Hmm. That's really cool, sort of glittery. So she's facing left. So kind of another unusual one. Oh, it's marked. Let me see what this says. This one is marked Catamore. I have seen that before. It says Catamore and then it says 120th, I think 12 karat GF, which of course is gold filled. Wow, she's really beautiful. It's in such nice condition too. Oh, <laughs> oops, <laughs> except for this top part. Well, who cares about that? That's probably not even original to it. I will fix that. Really pretty. I love the the white, black, and gold together. Here's another one facing left. This one's really pretty too. Uh, there's our 120th something something. Uh, who was that signature again? I know who this is. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, no, I guess I don't. Hmm. Uh, I think that says CA. I'm not sure, though. It's so stylized. It's sort of hard to see. But this one is also uh, 120th, 12 karat gold filled. So that means the metal, 120th of the weight of this metal must be 12 karat gold. She's really pretty. I like her neck, right? Different, I think. Here's another ring. This one is nice too, actually. This one looks newer. This is not as old as some of the others facing left, which is a good thing. This kind of looks like the 1960s to me. Maybe the 50s. Not sure. I like it though. Look at this loveliness. Oh, I love the kind of framing around here. Isn't that pretty? This whole thing is beautiful. And there again is our 120th 12 karat GF. Facing left. Very cool. Here's another one facing left. I like the carving on this one, actually. Not super, super intricate, but I really like the hair and the texture and I like the facial features. I like this one a lot, actually. I like what she's wearing, too. This sort of flowy uh, dress or shirt or whatever. I guess this one isn't marked. Doesn't seem like it is, right? They're all so different, right? They really, really are. Okay, this one's broken, sadly. Because look, this one is like carved really great. Look at the flower. But look, oh, hmm. How do we fix that? I don't know. And um, sterling, right? Is that what that says? Uh, it says something before it. Let me just see what that says. I'm not sure. It says OB sterling. So I don't know. There may be a letter, you know, in front that's missing. Oh, this one is so pretty. Darn it. Hmm. I wonder if I just looped that around, if I could make that work. Wow, that one's definitely one of my favorites. She is beautiful. This one must be a goddess or something. Someone's going to tell me. I know somebody knows. I don't. It almost looks like the Statue of Liberty in a way. This one's really nice. I really like the hair. It's like very thick. And, um, hmm. That's odd, the different color here. That certainly looks like copper, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know if this one... Hmm, let me just see. Yeah, this one's just gold filled. So through the years when people like touch it and take it out of their jewelry box and go like this, the gold rubs away from the edges. That's how I can tell that it's not pure gold. That's really different though. I really like that one. What a regal face. This one looks newer just by looking at the back. Oh, well, that's interesting. 
it's sort of like the carving is just those sort of lines, like lines in her hair and lines here in her dress. Not the fanciest one we have, but let's see what this one says. This one is marked Sam Martino. I have never heard of that name brand in my life. Uh, and this says the 120th 12 karat gold filled. It's very nice. I like this frame too. Sort of like a twisted, twisted gold tone. Pretty shell cameo. Here's another kind of ornate one. Oh, that's so nice. How much do you love the, the frame part? Isn't that sweet? Let's see if it says stuff. 120th 12K, there it is. I really like that one. What a beautiful necklace this would make. So I think this one is called the Three Muses, right? I think so. And this one may be something. This looks like sterling, right? Oh, maybe not. I don't think that is silver. So you see this carving is also not detailed. It looks like it's blurry, but it isn't. It's just like kind of not really sharply done. It's pretty though. I still like it. That's a very popular motif in cameos. I've seen this same thing many times. This one looks a little bit newer. Oh, that's really nice. I love the flower and the leaf. Look at that. Interesting. Very intricate hair. I think this one is very nice carving. How delicate the edges are on this. I love cameos so much. I don't think that uh, young people wear them or anything like that, you know, but I, I really, really love them. I hope you do too. This is interesting. It's like a tree with a woman underneath. This looks uh, real, like real gold to me. Let me have a look. I'm going to test this one in my testing show. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to that, but I'll definitely test that one. That may be gold. Not sure. It's an interesting one. Look at that upswept hair. Nice neck. And that's going to be gold filled also, right? Yeah. Here it is. Pretty. This one's nice and raised up. This is so nice, too. I really like this one. Whoa, there's all kinds of markings on this. That's interesting. What's what's up with this? I guess it's just a... I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I like it, though. It'd be pretty to put a necklace through that, right? Let me see what it's marked. So this says the 120th 12 carat thing. And then there's some sort of signature. I can't make out what that says. W-A, maybe? Uh, not exactly sure, but she's really pretty. Is that her ear or her hair right there? Hmm. I'm not sure. She's lovely, though. I like this one. This one's very pretty, too. How different. Look, she's sort of looking down. And this one is 800. That's a good thing. That one's really pretty. Now this one isn't as thin as some of the others. You can still see through it though. What a great face this is. Look at the earring too. Oh, I really like this one. Look at the hair. Really pretty. And there's our 800. I think it's so nice when they can be worn as a pin or a pendant like this. I just have a few more left. Oh, this one's really nice too. I love her hair. She also has a really big eye. Pretty flower, nice and thin. How nice. Let's see. Are you? Yep, you're also 800. Okay. Hmm. Wow, I just can't believe how different all the faces are. Like this, whoa, I love her hair. So that's kind of a mid-1800 hairstyle, I think. And what's on her face? Oh, I see, it's coming right off, a little bit of dirt. 
Hmm, I love this one. Look at the pipe curls. What I really like about this one in particular is like how her hair has different colors in it because of the way that the shell was. I think that's really interesting. And this one's 800. Hmm, gold plated clearly. I really love that one. I think this one's very, very well done. Looks like a couple of cracks maybe right there. Uh, not that it would show. You know, if you if you wore it, it would never show. Just like when you hold it up to the light. Kind of to be expected for something this old, you know. It is normal. Okay, we have three more left, I think. Oh, no, four more. Okay, let's see what this little one is. And that's a pretty little face, too. I like the frame on it. Hmm. I don't know if this one's gold filled or not. Maybe not. It's really pretty. Oh, I love this one. This has got a, another sort of uh, deco vibe to it. The hair. I love it. This one's really pretty. Sterling. Yeah, of course it is. Well, I didn't realize so many of these were silver. That's nice. And maybe we have one or two gold ones, too. I will check it out. They sure are interesting. Yet another lefty. Oh, look at the bow in her hair. This one's really pretty. I don't think this one is marked. Yeah, this one certainly doesn't look real. Just gold filled. Very nice workmanship on this one. I don't think I had ever seen religious cameos before this box lot. And she is just exquisite. This is nice and thin. I just love that. What a beautiful carving that is. I think that's Mark 925. All right, let's take a look at them all at once here. I'd like to thank you so much for coming to my antique cameo video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I got some very, very beautiful things and some unusual things as well. A bunch of silver ones. I didn't realize there were that many and maybe a gold one or two. We are going to find out about that. That is to be continued. All right. Thanks a million. Please leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out a lot. And I will catch you soon, everybody. Have a good one. Cheers.